a spice. Okay, go. So I already made one to take to Jamie for her birthday. Because my friend Jamie, who is a faithful viewer, it is her birthday today. Oh, hold up, guys. It might be a shaky ride for a second. That's not. <laughs> So Kathy says, hi, wonderful family, Hello. and John says, hi, wonderful family. There we go. Kathy asks if there's any snow left. You know. And Amy wonders if it's still snowing. We have a little bit, oh, Dave can't really show the camera. So we have a little bit left, but it was still snowing until 10.30 or 11 this morning. It's like 10, 10 this morning. And then it stopped and it's all been melting. Totally slushed up and, and gone. I can't believe we're not having floods because Jamie and I went out to lunch for her birthday and it was really flooded over by Fort Firestone. Yep, I saw it. It was really flooded. Mm, yeah. So. Ooh, Christine says spice cake. Yes, so I made this for Jamie because lie. it's her birthday today. <gasps> Don't tell her. Don't tell her it's her birthday. She's having a bad birthday, guys. If you see her on the YouTube side, tell her happy Everybody birthday. Everybody tell happy birthday if she's on YouTube. Madeline she said she got her cookbook today. Thanks. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm glad you got your cookbook. Um, she woke up with water, or was it last night? It may have been last night. I don't know. Either last night or this morning, to water all over her living room floor. And it was coming in through the patio door and she had to pull up the carpet Ugh. and she had put down fans and she has a huge mess and then her mom got put in the hospital and she's having a very bad birthday and then to top it off as we were headed over to her birthday lunch a rock hit the only windshield that doesn't have a crack in it <gasps> for her for me for us so her bad luck rub dog fell on me so i need to rub over to uh, run over to uh O'Reilly and get the, the patch kit. Oh, 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 O'Reilly! Yep. So, okay, so Jamie's on here and while we're waiting, okay, here we go. Just one second. We have to, we're going to do this early. Is it wrong to sing happy birthday to Jamie with her, with her soap cupcake? No. Are you sure? Oh, no. Well, you know she probably approves of it if she made it. Well, that's true. Jamie made this cute Oh, you fixed the, the candle. It's not even falling over for Yay. her. Are you ready? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jamie. We haven't done this very well, have we? <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to <laughs> you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yay, Jamie. We, we're out of okay, practice. We need to practice, I think. Who else has a birthday? <laughs> Who else has a birthday? Me. Ah, oh, Ben Daniel's grandma's on, Lisa's cottage is on, Shalanda's and on. Jamie is 27 again. Uh oh, Becky says she's having buffering on YouTube, but it doesn't look like it is from here. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so today we are making spice cake. Do we have everybody on here now? I'm not sure. It doesn't look like everybody is on yet, although we could okay. probably start so moving So while we're waiting for everybody to get on for just a second more. Yeah, have our normal view. I have a little bit of soap left. I have like two and three bars of everything else that's left, except for my e-course testing bars. I have several of those left, but I have 30% off my soap. Oh, I'm supposed to put that link in. Mike's going to put the link in. Tomorrow's the last day, guys. For the 30% off soap? For the 30% off. Sunday, I'm closing the soap store until we can get BJ figured out, hopefully this summer. And I'll still be doing videos, but I'm not going to be selling soap until after probably July or August. I'm not going to sell it until then. Jamie, if you haven't seen the Facebook side, you should go over there. Like, there's a huge Whoa. number of people saying happy birthday to you. <laughs> so we started his treatment yesterday and it was not a pleasant thing for him. It totally caught me off guard. I was expecting it to not. I, well, I didn't realize this treatment was supposed to do anything. I thought well, come over here. It wasn't supposed to. You don't want to be on camera. He's looking pretty rough, Dad. Okay. Are you kidding me looking like this? So he just woke up. It made him super horribly sick yesterday. So we're cutting out a couple of the supplements they put him on. So 
Yeah, so we'll talk about more what we're going to do with that. We came to, I think, a decision. Yes. Thank you all for praying, and we will talk about it. Have we come to a we'll decision? I, I think don't know. we have. Well, we okay. tried like we had. Ugh. So. Time for you to pound the table. Time for me to pound the table. Okay. All right. Oh. So, let's see. How do we make spice cake? So, you cream your butter until it's soft. Now, this was in the refrigerator, so I am going to... Uh, you forgot your coffee. Me? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna nuke this for just a couple of seconds. <laughs> You're turning all red. It's just coffee. <laughs> oh, actually, am I turning red? Because yeah. I'm not embarrassed or anything. Oh. <laughs> oh, Tony says I'm here live for the first time. I usually miss you. Oh, hello. Hey, Tony, it's great to have you here live. Okay, mm. so now I got this a little bit softened. Oh, so let's see. Today I need to share the spice cake recipe. Oh. And Callie and some other people say that they love it. She says it's her husband's favorite. Um. Uh, Mike said he <laughs> might check in later. Huh? My friend Mike oh. said he might check in later. Yes. All right. So. Um. Oh boy, I am not with it today. Nope. Jayla right. says hello from Niagara Falls. So I spent this morning making, out of $9 worth of chicken, I made 4, 12, 16 meals this morning and I videotaped it. So I got 16 meals out of $9 worth of chicken. Isn't that good? 16 servings? Yes. Okay, so cream your butter. My butter is creamed and I forgot my sugar. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, One boy. of the dangers of, of doing this is getting butter on the computer. <laughs> I hope we can get this made today. I'm okay, so now you slowly add your sugar, okay? Put in? No, how many scoops of sugar? Uh oh. Hey, did anybody see how many scoops of sugar Tar put in? She didn't remember. On food live. I think I'm three. Okay, I got two more guys, I think. I think. I don't know. Uh -oh. Okay. 
<laughs> Trinity and a few other people are asking, what are you making? So, <laughs> I am making a homemade spice cake. Now, this recipe does take a little bit longer because you have to beat it so much. And what I'm doing is, can you guys see how the, the sugar is crystallized? Um, you really don't want... Yeah. Can you see those sugar crystals? You want to beat it until you don't have that and that it's all nice and fluffy. So... I must beat just a little bit longer. Hold on. Wait. What? Jamie says, sorry guys, my cake is loud, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got close to six inches i don't know cindy's asking how much snow we got i think it was about four to six inches tar says she thinks closer to six and it was really slushy wet snow okay now i've lost my bowls yay <laughs> all right <laughs> Sorry. and patricia was wondering if you ever wanted to get a stand mixer wondering if that would take the stress off your hands um i do have a stand mixer but what uh, pour in like this much. Okay. Um, I have a stand mixer, but it's at mom's. And yes, it does take and not hurt so bad, but it's also really heavy and I don't have a place to keep it on the counter, so I usually don't use it that often anymore. Okay, so now beat your eggs. So now I'm going to add my eggs to the creamed mixture. I'm not sure that's gonna taste good. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the like vote that. of confidence, Dave. Eggs that are beaded up like that usually don't taste good. Well, it's a me. cake, Dave. It's a cake. Uh. Lenny wants to know can I use this recipe for carrot cake? Uh, yeah, you could. You could just add like a cup of grated carrots if you want. Yeah, it would be really tasty. <laughs> okay, so now we got it all beat up there, and now we're Louise was asking how many eggs? Five eggs. So now I'm going to add my cinnamon. And my cloves. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, just a second guys. I got to take an alka seltzer here. Are you okay? That didn't sound good. We need to check on him. Okay, so I got my cloves and my cinnamon. <clears throat> and my salt. And... Okay, so... I got all that mixed in there, so I'm just getting that stirred up. Okay, so now ugh, I'm gonna put about a third of the mixture in. Da, 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 da. All right, so here we go again. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm adding about a half of the buttermilk. Baking soda go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let me go check on that. Then, BJ, are you okay? Dave, go knock on the door and make sure BJ's not dead. Um. Okay. So, then stir in your baking soda. Oh, Dorothy asked, how much sugar did you end up putting in? Uh, two and a quarter cups. The recipe, Michael put the link for the recipes. Okay. So, I have the baking soda in my, see how it kind of poofed it up? Okay, so now I'm adding the rest of my baking soda. He said one of the picture frames just fell. Okay. Yeah, it was so weird being quiet for that long. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so now. Yeah, you can go ahead, Dave. Um, so now. It's a lot of mixing, and yes, if you have a stand mixer, use it, but mom's got mine, so. All right, now. You're supposed to pour this into a tube pan, but I don't have a tube pan. So I'm dividing it up between my 9 by 13 pan. Oh dear, I lost my other pan. Oh, here it is. And my nine by nine pan. So we're gonna have a lot of cake, but that's okay. What, do you, what mixing bowl is this? Huh? What mixing bowl is this? My red one? Yeah, a lot of people asking about it. Um, well, I didn't get it off of here, but they had it, type in vintage. Red. Okay, so I spray my pan and I put a little bit of flour in here and then I tap it. Um, right, oops, no. Well. I had it on the old descriptions, but we don't have them on here anymore, so. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so see how I have it and I'm tapping it around this so that it doesn't stick to my pan. Okay, so there's one. Here's the other. And I just pour the rest in there because it's not, you know, whatever. Um, don't want to waste it and it's not very much. And in high altitude, we have to add a quarter of a cup of flour for each of our recipes so here we go it smells, smells really good. good already okay so since i don't have a tube pan i'm i'm putting it in a couple of pans here actually do i need to put it in a couple of pans hmm. debbie says your house must always smell good whenever she bakes it smells really good actually today you cooked all those other things and that was really smelling great too yes 
<laughs> so did anybody see my ham video yesterday? I got 11 meals of ham. I got 11 meals for four people out of one ham. I think that's pretty good if I do say so myself. That is really good. Okay, so now I'm mixing it in. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in the oven at 350. And you can go ahead, Dave. It's all right. You can go ahead. Okay. I'm not doing it on the show, but usually when I'm baking, as I go, I take the bowls and I put all of my utensils and everything in the bowls and fill it up with water and let it start soaking as I go along. So I clean as I go along. Now it's a little bit harder on the shows for me to do that because I don't want to be running water and stuff, but... Lenny was saying you can use powdered sugar to the bottom of your pan instead of flour. Oh, that's brilliant. That sounds great. I've never heard of that before, but that would be wonderful. Yes, especially for this recipe because you put powdered sugar on the top when you're done. <laughs> you want to lick? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Delish. Do you think you're going to die from, from food poisoning for eating raw eggs? Yep. Oh, dear. Hmm. Is your life insurance paid up? <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Oh, good. Thank goodness. All right. So, uh, Susan's asking, is it on YouTube? Yes, we are on YouTube still. Um, hey, guys, there were a few people saying stuff that was kind of awkward, and they're not real people. They're trolls, and they're gone. <laughs> so, just so you know. <laughs> um, so... Oh, Jamie says, what a great friend I have. <laughs> so, uh, somebody else... Tony was saying if you have extra cake, take some to a friend, neighbor, or shut-in. I do. We do usually, although this is a special thing for Jamie's birthday. Except, so. I won't tell you guys, I didn't think I would have the option to go over there afterwards this evening, so I already made her another one. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh. Well, in that case, we should take it to a friend, and neighbor, And this is how it turned out. Ooh. Although, I will admit, the recipe that I made for Jamie wasn't this recipe. <gasps> Can you believe that? You know what I did for Jamie? <laughs> do, do I confess? Go ahead, confess. I used a boxed cake mix. For Jamie's? <gasps> I know! What? Can you believe I did that? So you had to make it by, from scratch just to sh prove that you can? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, um, and this is a really, really yummy cake. And it does take a little while to beat. But, it's not, you know... It's not horribly bad. I mean, that took me, what, 15 minutes, 10 minutes? So. Uh, Bonnie was asking, do you ever use cake flour for your cakes? And what's the difference between that and regular flour? Um, no, I do not use cake flour for my cakes. And by the way, I forgot. How could I forget? Dining on a Dime cookbook, page 236. <gasps> What's the whole point of making the cake if I don't sell some books? <laughs> Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page 236. All right, let me paste that in there. And um, cake flour is a finer flour, but I don't use cake flour for my cakes. You can if you want, but I don't find the expense worth it. So look what Jamie bought me today. Oh, it was her birthday, cute. and she bought me a present. Isn't that cute? That is really cute. And then when I got home, Jamie, your present was sitting on the on the front porch. I knew it. Cat lover <laughs> says what neighbor of hers has an Elvis gnome. <laughs> How cute! Uh, Carla was wondering with the recipe, have you ever added raisins? Yes, you can add raisins. You could add nuts if you want. You could add currants, dates, whatever you like for that kind of thing. But, um, my kids don't like any of that gross stuff. <laughs> oh, hey, Shannon said she saw the ham video and was amazed how many meals you got out of that ham. I guess I should watch it. 
I was too busy trying to untangle other knots in our business. Yeah, he's been working on bookkeeping so we can go get pre-qualified for a loan in case we find a house. And yeah. Um, so I got 11 ham meals out of one $9 hams. And those meals are for four servings for, so I got 44 servings of ham out of one ham. Ooh. And they're actually proper portion sort servings. You're not getting too little or too much. Because everybody said, oh, well, that's not very much ham. A serving of meat is only the size of your palm. So when you guys watch the video, so eat your hand. that's yeah. how I was measuring was I was envisioning, okay, does this fit in the size of my hand? And I got four of those for each one. So well, you're getting lots of likes and loves and ha-has and stuff. Lori's asking if the recipe's in the book. You did say it. It right? is. Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page 236, right there. All right. Super yummy homemade spice cake. Okay, so Roberta <gasps> sent me a package. A nifty gifty. I know. So I had to open it. Hello, Kellum family. Sorry this is so late. Don't worry, you're not late. But maybe you can keep the magnet for yourself. The tail is a bottle opener. Love you guys. Watching you guys and your cookbook. There's a little something in the body bottom for Ellie J. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Sorry, oh. I, have to, I have to laugh at the ages. Of... So she put her whole family on there. How cute. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh my. Jerry left the flowers behind the kitchen sink. Oh, except they're They're fading. Wilting. <laughs> well, they they're lasted. fading, they're fading. Oh dear. They lasted quite a while though. Like... For Ellie. <gasps> But Ellie's not here, so I'm just going to peek. <laughs> Ow! I saw a little hint of it. Okay, so Ellie's at her best friend's graduation this evening. But look what Roberta sent Emily, or Ellie. <laughs> How cute. Oh, she's going to love that. She is going to love that. Yeah. That was her favorite thing on the whole trip. Okay, so <laughs> let's see what we got in here. <laughs> Oh my! Oh, that goodness. is cute. <gasps> oh, it's a magnet. <gasps> it's a magnet. Yes. Is it? It's a refrigerator magnet. Wow. And it's also oh, a bottle opener. That is cool. It's a magnet and a bottle opener. Oh, Roberta, Shayla is gonna love that. That's a Florida refrigerator magnet. So in case you guys are wondering, we've been collecting magnets for my sister-in-law, and we were planning on going back this week. But then we had all these medical problems with BJ, so it'll probably be a little bit before we can get back there. Or they may come back here, I'm not sure which. But, oh my goodness, that, that is, is really so cool. cute. She's gonna love that. She is gonna absolutely love that. I didn't look at the recipe, but um, Susie was asking if there was vanilla in it. No, there's not vanilla in this one. <laughs> ah, Lynn has a great idea for kids. She says, my mom would add chopped dates and tell me it was raisins. <laughs> ah, there you go. Tony wants to know how big was the ham in that video? Uh, let's see. It would have been, let's see, nine. So it was, so it was nine dollars and something and I paid 88 cents a pound. So how much would that be? Like 11 pounds, 11 or 12 pounds. <laughs> wow. Somewhere around there. So. Uh, oh, let's see. Somebody else said, uh, Karen had said, you know how somebody said you could put powdered sugar instead of flour to do the pan. Karen said for recipes where it's appropriate, you can also use cocoa. Yes. So like That'd chocolate cake. Chocolate things. And you can, before you, um, before you mix up your cake mix, so like spray your pan and get your flour mixture mixed up and you can just put a little bit of the cake flour mixture too. So like if you're using a box cake, just save back a tablespoon or two and sprinkle it in there and you can do that too. That's awesome. Yep. Uh, let's see, we have some other stuff here that we... <laughs> Susan, when you weren't feeling well, Susan said, Miss Petunia sends soft purrs. Thank you, Miss Petunia. <laughs> um... Uh, and Paloma says spice cake, a.k.a. quickie cake? I have Never heard no of idea. Hmm. Um, yeah, on the mixing bowl, we had a couple questions about it, and I couldn't find the link for it, so we'll have to dig that up. I don't know. And Becky said her birthday was the 12th, but she forgot to tell us. Oh, happy birthday! 
birthday, Happy birthday, Becky. Becky. Um, so let's see. Some of this we've already answered. A lot of this we've already answered. Wait, do it. Wait, go back. Cindy said, I just made the powdered sugar donuts with one hand. How'd you do that? Oh, Bonnie. That was Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie. Excuse me. Bonnie, how did you do that? Yeah, Cindy was wondering how much snow we got. I think we, four to six yeah, inches. Yeah, at least. And I our area wasn't getting as much as some. They canceled school and they let school out earlier just north of us. And I told Dave and Jack, I said, only in Colorado, because we thought the school was going to be canceled this morning. And I said, only in Colorado do they cancel school three days before school ends for a snow day. Yeah. That's all although, they have left is three days. Although I was looking back Two and a half. No, help Facebook. Me. Help me. We've had this snow on the 27th of May the last two years. Really? So having it now in May wasn't really that surprising. That's funny. Uh, I have some friends, today, the guys that I was meeting this morning, one of them told me uh, it's three feet in Allen's Park. <gasps> Two feet in Estes Park. I used to live in Allen's Park. Wow. But we don't have snow at the moment, and I don't think... Well, our snow's mostly gone, and they're not predicting anymore, right? Yeah. Cindy I says, know. girl, you were awesome slicing that ham on fast forward. <laughs> ham instead of bacon, <laughs> great idea. Yeah. And see, that's how I cook my dinners in 15 minutes. So that took me 20 minutes to totally cut up and package all that ham. And now I have 11 meals... And all I have to do is take it out, and if I didn't put my toppings in, put my topping on, and bake it, and warm it up, and just make my side dishes, and I'm done. Sonia asks, where's Mike reading comments from? I'm on Facebook. I'm reading them on Facebook. Uh, I just jumped to the end at the moment because I, it's, it's kind of hectic, so <laughs> I'm a little bit behind, even though I'm running through them all here. <laughs> oh... Jeannie said, my husband, oops, just looked at me and said, it can't be any good. You put vanilla in everything. He's right. Even if a dessert doesn't call for it, I usually put a little in. <laughs> totally. Um, Wait, so you're saying my spice, spice cake isn't going to be good? No, I think your spice cake is going to be good. And I don't think, I think any kind of sweet yeah. dessert thing works great with vanilla. It doesn't hurt to add it. Oh, Susie asked, what does mind the gap mean? And somebody else had indicated this, but it's, in uh, London, in the underground, the subway, when the trains come into the station, sometimes there's a slight gap between the train and the concrete platform. And so there's a voice in there that says, please mind the gap between the train and the, I can't remember how it goes exactly. Platform, but, maybe? But it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a funny little thing when we, we went there, and I think Ellie thought it was cool that all the stuff they would say on the recordings, but mind the gap is one of them. Susan, the cats love the cat toys. Thank you so much. Yes, <laughs> they have been playing with them. We've got one. Well, where'd it go? They must have dragged it off. It was over here just a minute ago, and they've been playing and playing with us, so thank you. <laughs> Ramona asks for prayers. She says, more tornadoes today. And I think she's oh. in Oklahoma, if I remember. So, and what would Dave do? He said, oh, I missed the start of the show because I was watching one of your recordings. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, I guess. Yeah. I'm Bandana Grandma's on. She said she loved the ham video. I love stretching food and making it cheap. Okay, Bandana, you need to send the package to me. And then I'll send it on to the next family. Maybe I'll send it to Two Family Homestead. <laughs> so they're doing a carousel package where there's like 10 items. And I don't remember who started it, uh, Bandana. I saw the video, but my I'm not feeling good. So, um... So you start the package and you have 10 items in there and you do a video and you take out one item and show the item that you took out, but you don't show anything else that's in there and then you add something else to it. Oh, that's cool. Wouldn't that be cool? Guess what I would add? A no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good actually. So I, you would add I wasn't soap. even thinking about that. Sorry, I got the question wrong. I'm not wrong. telling what I would add, but it would be really cool. It would smell really good. It would be really useful. <laughs> um, so somebody needs to send it to me. So if you send it to your <laughs> family or somebody, you, somebody needs to send it my way. <laughs> I think that would be so fun. Yes. 
Two Family Homestead says she's going to need, uh, Shayla's going to need a magnetic board to put all those magnets on. I know. Yeah, I know. Thankfully, her husband is kind of handy. Didn't he used to do sheet metal at one point? Yeah, or something. And so he may end up having to put some kind of display on the wall for all the ones that everyone has sent. We've talked about uh, painting the wall with magnet. He might paint the wall with magnet, or he might um, get a sheet, piece, big sheet piece of sheet metal and put it up for her. We haven't decided yet. We were planning on going back this week. But then BJ got so sick that we're not obviously going to be able to make it now to go back this week. Linda, um, sorry. So. Linda said her birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Happy Linda! Happy birthday, Linda! Yay! Happy birthday to poor J. So then, to top it off, <laughs> uh -oh. you are not going to believe this. So, this is our famous birthday plate does it not work now we've had this plate for like 10 or 15 years i don't know how long have we had it i don't even know Since I was, no it was after pretty much born. almost the whole lives of the kids at least as long as dave's we been we probably born. had it at the jeanette house is that about when we, we did it? have it at the jeanette house so i put jamie's cake on here and i go over and i accidentally hit the thing so it's playing as she's opening the door so she got the last happy birthday to you. <laughs> and then I go, I said, wait a minute, I have to do this again. So I pushed it again and halfway through it goes. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Jamie's having a bad enough day as it is. And my special birthday plate that sings is didn't it, even it work. Forever dead or just then? I think it was just the batteries were dead. I hope. Hmm. So... So we have Dave and Jack and Mom's birthdays coming up here in three weeks is Dave and Jack's. And then Mom's is the end of June. And I don't know if we'll be able to use our plate. I don't know. It's funny because it sings a happy birthday song, but at the spot where you're supposed to put in your name, it says, Happy birthday, dear you. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, hey, so everyone on Facebook, Jamie says um, she's having trouble commenting on Facebook, but thanks to everyone who sent her birthday wishes over there. Yay! Yay! Oops. Oops. Uh-oh. Oh, Jack! Jack's here. Jack, Tony said that she usually doesn't catch us live, but she said you're super cute. She <laughs> likes seeing you so on the show. So, would you like to do what you wanted to do? Snow ice cream! Yay. Okay, go get the snow. So, we put some snow in the freezer for Jack. Do they have it in there? There, oh, it's a different one. Oh, sixty-four dollars. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Seriously? Wow. I paid a dollar ninety-eight for this. <laughs> it looks a little different, but wow. Still, it's, well, yeah, it's styled a little bit different. Hot dog! I got a good deal. I paid two bucks for this, and we use this for every single birthday. So how many birthdays is that? Six birthdays times, let's say, twelve years. At so least? it's kind of turned yeah, to ice. Least. But, wow. Uh, oh dear, it's turned to ice. Oh yes, dear. Lisa, it means pay attention to the gap. They also have other things that says like, uh, <laughs> please stand clear of the closing doors. And But mind the gap is the, the one that everyone notices and it's kind of amusing. So, it must be pretty popular. <laughs> there's some kind so, of thing that people say at Disney World that's like that. Okay, but, so Jack wanted to make snow... Lisa's Cottage says you would add a fairy gnome to the box. <laughs> I would. Oh, Kimberly said, just wondering if the magnet from the UK reached you guys yet. Manchester, it says. Um, I haven't seen that. Have you? Manchester? Yeah. No, I opened that, like, last week. It <gasps> did get here. Yes, thank you. We should have it available. So, I did. Stuff. Opened it last week. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And I told you thank you on that show. And I can't remember which show it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't remember. Uh, so Jack wanted to make, what did you want to make from Dining on a Dime Cookbook? Snow ice cream. Snow ice cream on page 376 with kisses. We have to have snow ice cream with kisses. But the problem is, is it too stiff? Do you think? Here, let me see. Ramona said they canceled schools there because the weather's so bad for thunderstorms and tornadoes. Oh man, that stinks. See, there was a school, one of the schools here, um, 
Gwen Emily is graduating from never cancels school for snow ever. But yesterday I got a call in the middle of the day saying we're closing school, everybody. And here her last day of school was the day before. <laughs> what are the odds? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Go. What about this? Oh, Paloma says that that quickie cake is what her baby grandson calls cake. Oh, uh, that's cute. Christine wants to know if we're still hoping to move. Yes, we're still looking for houses, but we're having a really, really hard time finding. Uh, Donius, Donius says, my first time on. Well, great. thank you for being here. It's glad to have you. She said, do you come on every week? We're on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time. So yep. every week. Oh, don't worry, Jeannie. I know you were kidding about the vanilla. It's okay. I was just messing around. <laughs> Well, I got most of the top, but not really the bottom. Okay, let's Sharon, see. Sharon, why don't you start a package like that? I thought about it. Jamie and I had talked about it. We <laughs> thought we sure it should. Yeah, I don't know if I could part with my gnomes, Lynn. You are correct. They're all like a family to me. We'd have to just get duplicates. <laughs> uh, where are all our boys? Uh, did, uh, you going to pop one. Oh, Sonia asks you to please smother Jack with tons of kisses. She said, we love to watch that. Oh, see, we have to give the people what they want. <laughs> so the rest of the show is just Jack's kisses. So for those of you who don't know, Mother's Day around here is called Give Mom All the Kisses She Wants Day. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, lots of hearts coming across. Okay. Yay. And Sonia also says, and God bless your elder son and heal him. Yes, we're... Yes, thank you. Thankful for your prayers. This one is more like snow than hmm. the other one. Okay. Woo! Oh. All right. Oh, Tony says, First I want to see Jamie. Me. We've seen another four, but Jamie is actually, or Jamie's actually a friend. And Emily's the one you hardly ever see. She's been on the show, but she's off and gone. She's been working a lot to start saving for college. She works a lot, and until she got out of school the other day, she was uh, <coughs> she was going to school in another town. So she wasn't here very much. But uh, we actually had her on the schedule to do smoothies or something. Yeah, and then it snowed. So, and she got stuck up there and couldn't get home and had to stay at a friend's house because the roads were too bad. Hmm. Thank you. I <laughs> need kisses. Actually, Tony says let the kids fix the cake pan because they seem pretty handy. They are. Oh, uh, yeah, they are. Okay, you got your Even ice this, cream in there? What's funny is this one has learned so much from the others. Right, Jack? Okay, so Jack Do wants... Do you have a vanilla? Snow ice cream right here. Dining on a dime cookbook. Do you have a vanilla? Page 376. Oh. Yes, I do. Okay. okay, so pour half of that in. In where? Which bowl? In, is this, oh wait, here, we didn't, I thought you got it in here. Okay, so let's get our snow in here. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out. Our snow kind of froze more into ice. And then put the rest in. Oh, Lenny said, didn't get it, noticed that you were on, on Facebook. Oh, sorry. We Facebook doesn't tell everyone all the time, which is sort of annoying. Make sure you click notifications at the top. You don't just click the You have to do the right thing. Hmm. Oh, Heidi. Heidi Cunningham is on. Been watching, but wanted to say hi. Hi, Hello, Heidi. Hello, Heidi. There, that's pretty floppy. Patricia says you're so cute, Jack. Okay. Because, <laughs> you know, there's the sugar. I wanted to pour it in. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, do the milk. You do the milk. Okay. All fill. of it. Let's see. Hold on. We need how much milk? Okay. So milk up to the first line there. About. Can I put in the vanilla too? Sure. Turret okay. said her leg is getting better. Did I tell you that? Yay, Turret! I'm so glad your leg is getting better. She also says, hope BJ gets better soon. Prayers from Norway. Thinking a Thank lot about you. Him. Yeah. Poor guy. We started. So, okay. So we're going to tell you what we were going to do about BJ. We forgot about that, didn't we? 
Well, we cut our prayer warriors, prayer warriors loose on Wednesday, and thank you. Can I see? It so, seems like an yes. answer cat theme so, here. You want to tell them the plan? No, you can go ahead. I took over last time. <laughs> but they say I never let you speak. Oh. That's not what everyone else says. <laughs> That's their problem. Okay. Wait, hold on a second before we get into that. See? Jack? Hmm? Skinny says, knock knock joke for Jack. What? Uh -oh. She says, knock knock. Who's there? Snow. Snow who? Snow way I'm waiting out here. It's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> You see that little smile, Jeannie? <laughs> <laughs> that right. was pretty good. That's the look of aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, okay, so what did we decide to do with BJ? So, Mike wasn't feeling real comfortable with the Ivy Silver, and I was kind of, nope, keep mixing, and I was kind of neutral about it. And. I didn't feel one way or the other, although I'm leaning towards the silver. But Mike wasn't totally comfortable with it, so we were like, okay. So we did more research. Are we, you still leaning towards the silver? I, I think it would be good. I mean, I think the silver would work, but... Um, huh? Not yet. And um, so what we decided was... We went back to primary care yesterday, talked to her, we're getting a referral to infectious disease, but in the meantime, we're starting him on doxycycline for one month to see if it does anything, and the supplements that the functional medicine doctor gave him to help him build up his immune system and fight the infection. Now. Problem is, yesterday we started him and he got horridly sick. And the doctor said that it was the die off from the bacteria and that that's actually a good thing, but he got really, really sick and he's still really not doing well. So we're cutting back and keeping him on the doxycycline while we get the referral to infectious disease. Hopefully we can get into infectious disease before we have to leave for Mayo on June 11th, Dave's birthday. If we don't get into dis infectious disease before June 11th, then we are going to just go to Mayo. All right? Is that what we decided? Sure. Well, did we not decide that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. No, I'm not disagreeing. I, I sure? didn't completely understand what you were thinking, but I, but yes, that's that's right along the lines of what I was thinking. So, did I not say that right? <laughs> of course, or I is might. Mike just not listening to me? Okay, that's looking pretty good. So this isn't quite as creamy as it normally is because the snow was in the freezer, but that's okay. All right, give it a taste. What do you think? Mmm, <clears throat> yum. Is that good? Oh, yum. What did you, it tastes even more. It's snow ice cream. But it tastes even more mm, than usual. Does it? Yeah. I added a little extra vanilla. I thought that's what it was. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do you think? So. Are you gonna die because, oh dad, he's dying because oh, it's so delicious. So good. So I must revive him with kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry, I didn't want you to fall. So Phyllis is asking prayer warriors to lift up Bjorn. So, uh oh. Um, hey, I was just, uh, I don't know if you felt this way. I thought we both felt this way. I felt like that um, it was much clearer after the show the other day. So thank you everyone for praying. Um, so that's where we're at at the moment. So we're starting him on doxycycline, which I don't know if that'll do anything, but the doctor said it won't hurt him to try for one month. Yeah, Charlene says she thinks we made the right decision. And then go to, um, and then go to infectious disease and or Mayo. So. Karen says doxycycline is a hard drug, but it's what's needed for that type of infection. She said she's had Lyme twice. Yes. Jack has a warning about collecting the snow. Go ahead. <laughs> Right. Never pick up yellow snow. 
Why not? Wouldn't it be banana flavored? No. Oh, it's lemon flavored. That's no, why. No, it's not. That's no, pea flavor. <laughs> yeah. That, that would be, be pretty, pretty gross, gross, wouldn't it, huh? Yes, we set our bowl out there. We don't usually scrape it off the ground unless we have a good six inches or so. <laughs> yeah. And it, yeah, it's always fresh on the top. And some people say, oh, I wouldn't have snow that's fallen through the air. And I'm thinking, you breathe the air. Why are you breathing in your area? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Um, we have a... Hold on just a second. Okay, Jack. Here's another knock-knock joke from Tony. Are you what? ready? Knock-knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the bathtub. I'm drowning. <laughs> you get it? I don't get that. That's because you never. That's because you didn't watch Sylvester and Tweety often enough when you were a kid. Rain the bathtub. I'm drowning. Oh. <laughs> we need to bring more Sylvester around. We need that. Yeah, we need the Looney Tunes. Our kids have been woefully short of the little Looney Tunes. Um, uh, Sharon wants to know how long does the cake have to bake? Is it still in there? Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> Did Tara set the timer? <laughs> Lynn asked. Uh, uh, you better not have burned it on Jason's birthday. Uh, that would take cake, wouldn't it? Oh, that would take cake. It's a good thing. It's a good thing everyone reminded you. Oh, yummy. Ooh, that looks really good. Okay, so to test if your cake is done, take a knife and take stick it in the center. Stick it in the center. And if, if it, it comes, comes up clean, clean, it's ready. Very good. So, there I've heard you go. That like a million times. Doesn't that look delicious? Man, Jamie's gonna have fun with that. And yeah. then you just sprinkle the top with powdered sugar after it cools. <laughs> so, now all the neighbors are gonna be getting spice cake. So, it's kind of funny because. My kids are such picky eaters, it's all my fault. <laughs> that I take, after every show, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all the neighbors get tons of food. Or if I'm headed over to Jamie's, I'll take it over to her house. Yep. I was trying to follow this, but I'm wondering if it's because Jack is a kid. Huh? What would Dave do, says, from Jack in San Francisco Bay Area, knock knock, what do you call an old snowman? What do you call an old snowman? Oh, what do you call an old snowman? I don't know. Puddles. Puddles. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, isn't it? Okay, so that makes me think of my favorite scene in the movie Frozen. Which is? Which is when the snowman is singing about what snowmen do in summer. <laughs> Olaf. Yep. Yes. Particularly when he's hopping along and he sees a puddle. <laughs> Yes. What did Bandana, what is Jamie making sure Bandana does? Uh, I, um, I don't see him making sure. So I'm making today a spice cake for Jamie's birthday. Oh, I guess these are further back than I realized. So. Uh, my son is begging for your donuts for breakfast tomorrow, Paula mm -hmm. says. Those are the best. <laughs> my Dave kids, loves them. I can't keep them. I can't keep them in stock. And Becky's wondering if the chicken video will be up tomorrow. Uh, hopefully if I can get it edited. Although I don't know if I'm gonna do all three tomorrow or individual recipes first. I might do the individual first. Hmm. So. Let's see. Uh, Bonnie wants to know: Do your kiddos have any daily chores? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell them what your chores are. Daily chores? Yeah. Well, what kind of she didn't things? say daily, I guess. What she kinds just said of chores. things do you guys have to do for chores? I love the dishwasher. <clears throat> I mean, load the dishwasher, mm -hmm. take out the trash, clean the bathtub, clean the sink, clean the, va clean the va toilet, vacuum the stairs, vacuum living room, and a bunch of other stuff like that. So those aren't all daily though. Like, well, so we vacuum Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or we try. It's actually turned out to be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday since we've done the live shows now. But are you okay? 
Um, but we vacuum Monday. We vacuum three times a week. And on the same days that we vacuum, we clean the sink and the toilet. And once a week, they clean the shower and the bathtub. And then they also clean the windows and doors, all the glass, and they unload and load the dishwasher. And then anything else that needs to be done along the way too. And we have a rotating system. Dave, can you turn the camera so they can see our system or can no? Can you just take one of them off there? Well, not really. I wanted to show them how. Oh, okay. Well, can yeah, you, well, can you get it over? This? Oh, yeah. So, okay, so here's how we do it. Well, I can't take the camera that's, off. That's okay. If you can just see it. Here, here, here's how we do it. It's okay. Here, no, just leave it. So, so we have like this. See how we have that? Okay. So then over here, so then over here I have all the kids' pictures, and this is Jack and, uh, and BJ, that Jack and BJ share. And then we rotate the chores each week, so we take the magnet and we move it over here, we move it over here, move it over here, move it over here. And each Sunday we change the chores. And so you can see. See how we do that? Yep. Ta-da! Okay, so that's how we do our chores. And chores are not optional. We've got the professional lighting changes here. <laughs> but they do... Um, You're required to do it no matter what, even if we're barfing on the floor. No. If they're sick or if it's their birthday, then the other kids fill in and like BJ's been extra sick So Jack's been doing more of his chores So yes, yes, I would send it to two family <coughs> bandana. I would do that And then I think they said but you can send it to them first if you want you can send it to them first. That's fine Just make them send it to me <laughs> <laughs> Uh, two family. Oh, somebody asked two family. They said nine Monday nine p.m. But I'm fairly certain I'm live right now, possibly. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. So all you guys who have YouTube channels on there, put <coughs> on there the time and date you're on. And we've got several YouTubers on here. We've got Bandana Grandma. We've got Two Family Homestead. We've got Jamie with Love You More So. <coughs> we have Jack coughing all over the ice cream. <laughs> I'm not coughing all over the ice cream. I'm just like. <coughs> oh good you can click on the three little dots and it says go to channel on YouTube or you guys if you want to put your link on Facebook feel free or anybody else who's on here go for it I'm having a hard time seeing so Oops, I just missed it. oh Linda said if you're still looking for gluten-free flour mix America's test kitchen has recipes for regular and wheat I saw that and I need to try that yes <laughs> yes I need to try that Let's see. What would Dave do? He says, I like that idea for the chores. It mostly works pretty well, except sometimes they get into an argument about, that's not my week. Wait, who didn't switch the things on the right week? And I think occasionally one of the kids kind of adjusts it for their favorite. Well, and then if you saw, I don't know if you saw one of them, it said my week. So that's how we solve arguments. So if a kid wants to sit in the front seat, or if a kid wants to pick... Let's say we have four lollipops and everybody wants the same one. Then whoever's week it is, they get to pick all those things. And then let's say Dave and Jack are in the car, but Emily's week is next. Then whoever week is next gets to pick. So that's how we solve some of those arguments. So, yeah. It usually works pretty well. Occasionally... Yeah, Not. most of the time. Ramona's asking, okay. what kind of box are you guys talking about? So the box that we're talking about is a carousel box that is going around for YouTubers, and we all put something in it, and we don't show what we put in it, and then we send it to the next person. Are you alive? Barely. Barely? Oh, man. Poor BJ. He got so sick yesterday, he's still sick. Yeah, we were wondering because the show was about to start and uh, we hadn't seen him all day, so we were going down to check on him, but uh, yeah. Well, well, if I ever felt on the brink of death, today's that day. I'm hmm. sorry. 
Is it helping any better yet? Did the bath help? Yeah, it helped, and then it got out. <laughs> <laughs> so Thanks. I had him. So I think he's having a reaction from the die-off of the bacteria. It's called Herxheimer's syndrome or so, I don't know it's something or another but it's where it, the toxins from the bacteria make you really really sick everything hurts I'm not even kidding I don't know how to describe how I'm feeling like my head hurts it feels like you know when your arm goes to sleep that's like my whole body right now <laughs> I'm sorry uh, sorry <coughs> so we're <coughs> Cutting back on some of the supplements. Oh man, you're sweating. Am I? Yeah. Lenny says, prayer request on my Facebook page under Lenny Hilt called There is Salvation and None Other. Thank you for adding him to that. No, uh, you're cold actually. Jeannie uh, says the old snowman yeah. joke was really cute. BJ, what do you call an old snowman? I don't know. Puddles. No oh, puddles. <laughs> <laughs> So you have to laugh when you're not feeling good. Melinda says Chuck is enjoying the snow, well, the snow ice cream. Yes. <laughs> so I guess today I'll be filming my first oh, vlog. Yeah. It won't be much of a <coughs> vlog though, it'll just be me talking about my situation. So be sure to go check that out. <laughs> Assuming I don't like kick the bucket before then, but... Hopefully not. <laughs> a few people were talking about... If he does though, I call his room. How the silver sounded good. Uh, Ramona said, I asked on the Lime site, and not very many people have had any luck with the silver. Yeah, the problem that I was having is it's what the theory behind why it should work is great, but I was trying for several days to find really anyone who said that they had great success with it. And a lot of people said it's great, but I couldn't find anyone to say it cured me. <coughs> Well, let's see. Ramona says, I asked on the live site and not very many people have had any luck with the silver. Yeah. So the IV silver is what we have been trying to find because the IV is different from the oral. But, yeah. But even on the oral, people said it makes me feel better from various things, but nobody said I was cured of something like Lyme. Yeah. And that, and that made me concerned. Um... I don't know, there were just some things I wasn't feeling very good about it, even though I was I was optimistic about wanting to try it, but I was just, I don't know, I felt really conflicted because I couldn't find any evidence. <laughs> Turret says you're doing a great job behind the camera, Dave. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Karen says silver's good in the days of topical treatments. I found a lot of evidence online of it being useful for topical stuff. So much so that I bought some, and I think it's sitting here with Jamie's present. <laughs> oh, Ramona said that um, when she couldn't find anyone that had any success with it, oh. she said I asked about IV silver. So oh, okay. Well, then maybe that's not the best route to go then. Yeah. That's, that's so. kind of why. But honestly, for me, I, I don't know about Tara, but for me, uh, after everybody was praying on Wednesday, I was... I, I didn't feel like I had an answer then, but I woke up in the morning and I felt like the answer was really clear, so... Tammy says you look really, really pale. And when I called Tara... I? <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, freezing. Yeah, you do look pretty pale. Go take your temperature. I think it's really low. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Barb says, oh, poor kid, I feel you. I was so sick when I had heart failure. Hard to describe how sick I was. Mm. Jack Thank you, Paloma. Yeah, and he had one doctor tell him that he just needed to exercise. We just said, I just want to go in and smack that doctor. Yeah. Like, you yeah, I know. So. A number of people talking about doxycycline <laughs> being hard on you, too. And yeah, that was my experience years ago, and I, I was just a little bit disheartened to hear that that was one of the main treatments for this. But for me, I had a flu like thing, and I had to stop. Jerry, yeah. wants, uh, Jerry wants a link to be used while I'm dead. Uh, oh, I'll have to go find it real quick. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jack wants to tell a joke real quick. Where did. Where do cows go for entertainment? Where do cows go for entertainment? The movies. <laughs> oh, the movies. that's good. Uh, oops. BJ's video. Are you? Oh my goodness. Yeah, huh? something's really wrong. His temperature is 96 degrees and he just got out of a really hot tub. 
Actually, I think I had you're heard really that cold. low temperature was one of the symptoms. Yeah, you're really cold. I feel like I'm burning up. <laughs> you feel, and you're sweating. He's 96 <laughs> degrees and he's sweating. I'm sharing BJ's YouTube I can channel right now. Can you right guys now. see the sweat? <sighs> Patricia says, sorry you're so sick, BJ. Yeah. Saying prayers. Thank Sonia you. says, hi, BJ. And Actually, I know I really don't seem like I'm appreciating your thoughts and prayers, but I really am. <laughs> it's... Just kind of hard to show it when you have a throbbing headache and you can't even think about what your name is when you're filling out the doctor's papers. <laughs> Only to have them shred it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, if you watch his channel, he goes days and days without getting out of bed very much. And then he'll have a day where he feels good for a few hours and makes some videos for his channel. And then he kind of ends up back there again. Although, like the past month, it really hasn't had a... You haven't had any... Very good one. day. <laughs> yeah. That was why we were concerned about wanting to do something soon. So, um, Ramona mm. says my soap on Facebook is simply sheer joy. Oh, cool. Uh, yep, a lot of people praying for you, BJ. That sounds awesome. Um, let's see. I got both the cakes out, Lynn. <laughs> uh, did Tar take? Oh, yeah, you. Sorry, I was just reading that with you. Um, Let's see, I think that's much, much of what I see. <coughs> uh, yes, thank you everyone for all your prayers. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Because we're just at our wits end trying to figure out what to do for the poor guy. 96 degrees. I don't think my temperature's ever been that low. <laughs> Anything, yeah, he shouldn't have, I mean, he probably, his bath water, I mean, how hot, was it really hot or just a little warm? I thought it was a lot hotter than I normally have it. So he just had a really hot bath, and when it's really hot, I took the temperature I in mean, there well, once. My foot's still red from it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be 96 degrees after getting out of a super hot tub. Nan says Nan loves you, BJ. Thanks, Nan. You Love want me to too. give you a kiss from Nan for you? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> and Marilee says, got your YouTube, BJ. Huh? Marilee said she got your YouTube. I shared your link. There okay. go. Thank you. Karen says the temperature is not unusual. Yes, he's very pale, killing the bacteria. Oops, something popped up right here. I'll, Will uh, make him feel very lousy and sick. We'll often drop before it shoots up. I'll try and upload a video today um, explaining the situation, but obviously if I'm not feeling that great, then it might not be until tomorrow or the next day. But He's going to try and blog it to help other people because it's really not very much information out there. Yeah, I was originally going to try vlogging the IV silver, but we pretty much determined that that's just snake oil. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not really sure. So, yeah. It, personally, I personally feel like the prayer led us in the right direction. So, so the supplements, he took garlic and probiotics. And so the supplements are pretty much to help <coughs> build the bacteria in his intestines. Although I don't understand. Okay, we need to get off, but I, okay, so here's a question for all of you natural type people. I believe in the natural stuff and I use a lot of it and I think a lot of it works, but here's what I don't understand. If you're taking antibiotics, what good does it do to take probiotics with it? Because if the antibiotics are killing off the bacteria, how is it not going to just kill off the probiotics? I would, I would think that it wouldn't be that useful until after you stop the antibiotics. Exactly. I would think after you're done taking the antibiotics, Whoa. take the probiotics. Doesn't the probiotics support the good bacteria and the antibiotics kill the bad ones? Or is yeah, it... but no, the, pro the... Well, the probiotics, I think, make a, an environment that's good for the ba good bacteria to grow. But the antibiotics kill pretty much all the bacteria. So if you're killing all the bacteria, what is the point of putting more bacteria in for it just to be killed? And the doctor keeps telling us to do that, but I don't know. So somebody tell me, you guys post in there, I know we need to go and this is getting super long, but I'm actually, I really am curious about that because that doesn't make any sense to me. Karen I, said, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Karen said you don't need to worry unless it gets down below 95 degrees and she's an RN. Okay. Ramona wants to know how long will the referral Close. take? <laughs> well, I don't know. There's two messages on the phone and I'm hoping one of those is from the doctor from when we came in from, from lunch. So I don't know. I'll have to call Monday now, unfortunately. But Jerry just subscribed to your channel, BJ. 
Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Um, somebody said, uh, oh, Bunny asked, does he soak in Epsom salt baths? Yes. Uh, he just came out of one. I just told him to do that because, yes, and somebody said something about the liver. Another one of the supplements that he's on is to support his liver because he's had liver issues mm -hmm. with all of this. I yeah. I had liver issues. Because he keeps having really high liver enzymes, and so that's one of the supplements he's on is to help do that. So we're from Colorado. No, you Just should. about an hour north of Denver. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, Kathleen. Kathleen, my tree survived. Yay. Yay. Man, these trees look like they're not, though. A lot I mean, of them didn't, yeah. Cherry says, BJ Mama Kisses make everything better. See, you have to give me kisses. <laughs> you see him duck away from that one. <laughs> uh. I know it puts healthy bacteria in, Cherry, but the thing is, is if you're on an antibiotic, it kills all the bacteria. So what good is it doing putting well, all that bacteria in if you're killing it? Yeah. Maybe she, maybe you're, well, that's why we have to take it yeah. after six hours, right? Yeah. So it doesn't kill it. See, Trinity said, her doctor said, don't take the probiotics when you're taking antibiotics. Oh, well. Well, <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't think it'll hurt anything. I'm just not sure it would help anything until the, if the antibiotics kill off the good germs, then you get C. diff. I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. Hmm. What? So the only way to tell if he's actually sick or not is trying to kiss him. Because if he, like, is okay with getting kissed, then he's fine. I mean, then he's not fine. But if he's all... Oh! Well, I might bad. call and ask him or email her and ask her on Monday. Because that just doesn't make sense to be taking probiotics while you're on... The muscle test will tell us. It is definitely good to take <laughs> probiotics. We just weren't sure if you... Hey, what? Never mind. I'm lost. Some people are saying take them, and some people are saying they're not sure that's a good idea. I don't think it can hurt anything. I'm just not sure it actually helps anything when you're taking something that's supposed to kill everything. That's one of the things about antibiotics that we are not that fond of, is it kills the good stuff, too. Um, well, Cindy says C. diff killed my mom. I'm not sure what that is, but that's what I have no idea. What is C. diff? I've never heard of that. Oh, uh, let me search it up. Melinda said, hi, cameraman Dave. <laughs> Hi, Melinda. I didn't see you the last couple of shows. It's good to see you back. So I guess you just take it to kind of keep duking it out so you don't get um, a yeast infection. Hmm. Huh. And you replace with good, yeah. Hmm. Well, if, if they tell you to do, I definitely would. Uh, Ruth said, who's minding Facebook? Dave's on camera. I'm actually looking at the uh, the, the comments, but... He's on the Facebook comments. We just have to trust that the show is still going when he's over here. C. diff is a terrible bacterial infection, usually from antibiotics. Okay, well, we'll keep you on it then. Yeah. That was that Wait, was one of our concerns diff. with a lot of antibiotics. I but... get C. diff with probiotics or not? With If you take antibiotics without the probiotics. Okay. Uh, Jamie says, when you kill the uh, disease th things with antibiotics, uh, the probiotics replace the bad bacteria with good bacteria. Yeah, but see, I would think you would want to wait till after you're done killing it off and put it back in, but I don't know. Sorry, just a slight change for a minute. Betty says, I made your coffee cake tonight. I put fresh blueberries on top before the topping and cooked, and it was delicious. Oh, yum. That would be good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, thank you for that. I was just curious. I know we went super long, but I was just confused on that. So it's time almost for our next dose of meds, which he's so excited about. No, it's not even six hours. Almost 15 minutes. Jerry says Take he should go to the probiotics. emergency room. We've actually taken no, him probiotics. when he's in this condition or worse, and they usually just say they usually just say there's nothing they can do. Or that their tests seem to indicate he's okay, don't they? Yeah. So that's why we're waiting to actually go to a place where they're going to actually hopefully do something. Yeah, BJ's um, YouTube channel is. Oh, the number 007K. Uh, Kathleen, I'll take a look back through your comments again real quick here. Um, just so it's that people understand. So what we're doing is we're, we're going to go to Mayo, but right now we're doing some of the supplement methods that were recommended by the other doctor as well. And if yeah. the supplement works, we're not going to Mayo. So. Yeah. If the, oh. the problem is we only have three weeks before we go to Mayo. <laughs> 
so we're not sure if it's going to kick in in time to do that. So I don't know. Yeah, Kathleen, I did see your comment about the Hashimoto's protocol. There's a book she said that oh, talks yeah. about a liver cleanse. And I did make a note of that that we can look it up after the show. So thank you. So, yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah. So. All right. Okay, guys. So now Two Family Homestead, if I get the package first and send it to them, they she wants my bowl. <laughs> uh, oh interesting so, Tracy says C. diff is when you have too much good bacteria and not enough bad I've had it and it's no fun wow we'll have mm -hmm. to check into that uh, oh, does the doctor brother. who prescribed the antibiotics know about uh, supplements no but the other doctor does and she's an MD too so it's okay yeah Trinity says I think you're on the right track with supplements and then going to Mayo I think we feel pretty comfortable with that the supplements are supposed to build his immune system so it's just things like vitamin D and the probiotics because I have no immune system right because now. his immune system is pretty <laughs> shot so yeah I always but, which would explain why you get so sick easily I mean yeah I do always seem to be the first one to get the flu after the first person to get it. Yeah. And what's funny is, until he got this, he was never sick. He's Jack. the only one I never had to take in for, to the doctor until four years ago. Jack! So... Now I'm making up for it. Yeah, now you're making up for it. Jack! <laughs> Poor guy. Here. All right. Will that help? What? Come here. Poor BJ. Dad needed you. Oh, man, Dad. boy, Mike, your hands are full of Tara and BJ. Yeah. I well, feel really... I think... What? Go ahead. Oh, I feel like I'm going to puke. Oh, well, why don't you go? Go lay down. Say goodbye. Okay. See you guys. See you, DJ. Sorry. Um, we're getting Wait, requests for Mom to Smother You with Kisses. Oh, oh you better come here. What? You're running away? <laughs> See, that's how you tell that Jack isn't sick. You're running away? <laughs> no way. No All way, right. no way. <laughs> so... Hmm? Uh. Oh, I have to smother you with kisses. <laughs> oh, he just wants more time on the computer. <laughs> what? He wants Dad to play Minecraft with him after the show. No, I get the Mac this time. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, David, Thank we you. will. I was gonna talk to you later. Have a good night. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Thank you for all your help and your info and. Happy birthday, Jamie, my friend. Happy birthday. We love you. Happy and birthday, so Jamie. glad you moved by us. So. And Sonia, thank you for continuing to watch us, even though it's so late there. I, I oh, feel my. bad for everyone over there, but when Ellie and I were in the UK and in Ireland, we experienced what you guys go through. <laughs> thank you for I, watching I'm us. So thankful that you guys are here. We'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks for your prayers, and have a great weekend. <laughs> Bye. Um, okay, let's see. Let's Basically, get I'm just kicking the back in. Cluster! I was saying, I was trying to join the process.